What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here today. I'm going to be flipping some furniture. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the Farmer. Farm you turn when possible. No, we're not. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see the first furniture flip I've ever done. I didn't film it. I didn't do any videos on it. I just posted the pictures. I wasn't sure if this was going to be something for me. So after I finished that dresser and saw how good it came out, I was just like, oh my gosh, I wish I had recorded it. I did not. So I am on to project number two and um, I've started already but I can catch you guys up all right here's what we got going on I've already pulled out the dresser drawers and removed all of the hardware the hardware was all mix matched and everything it none of it matched well there was four that matched one that did not all right I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of this dresser All right, first thing. First thing are these, the slides, these top two slides. This one and this one are broken. So I need to order some slides and uh, I gotta go online to do that. I did find some at Lowe's and Home Depot. They're exactly the same and they're not like this kind. This is the kind I need. And I've seen some online, so I need to order some of those. Um, the sides, the sides, it looks better, <laughs> I mean it looks worse in person, better on camera, but there's all kinds of stuff here, I, I don't know, paint stuff, there's scuffs, there's um, scratches and gouges everywhere, paint looking stuff, I don't know what that is, there's a stain down there the top oh my goodness the top the top has got this big stain on it with some bubble gum mixed in there got a little heart sticker <laughs> and some other stains here I don't know what this pink stuff is um, go on to the back there's some goop here I don't know what this is I just touched it ew I don't know it looks like they went over this with a saw or something I don't know what happened here but this is all all messed up here so I got to repair some of that um, yeah this side here it's got whatever this stuff is scuff marks and it looks like a soda exploded over this whole thing it's got like this speckling stuff that's all goop and sticky stuff so that's what I'm working with all right so um, first thing I need to do is wash this thing so I'm gonna wash it with soap and water I got some Dawn dish soap regular water uh, microfiber cloth I'm just gonna wash the whole thing inside and out all right let me go get some water First thing I want to do is see if I can get this gum up. Got me a razor blade here. Oh yeah. At least I think it's gum. It's either gum or candy or something. I don't know what it is. It's sticky and gross. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, this is so gross, y'all. But I think this 
this is going to be all right. Yeah, this is coming up nicely. I'm trying not to tear up the wood at the same time. And the finish, I'm, I'm going to have to go over this and get the finish off too. I'll be doing that. All right, guys, I'm going to do this. And then after I get all this up, I'm going to go ahead and wash this whole thing with soap and water. All right, I got that part done. Let's see how filthy this water is. Ooh, y'all is brown. I got so much soap in here. Look at that. It is like brown. That dresser was gross. Now that I've got it rinsed off with soap, washed all inside out, and uh, now I'm just gonna rinse out everything, get all the soap out of this. Actually, I'm gonna get a new a new towel and wipe it all down with just plain water, get all the soap residue off. Then I'm gonna let it dry overnight. We're gonna come back tomorrow and do some more stuff to it. Y'all have on a ton of sunblock uh, SPF 100. <laughs> it's hot. It's the middle of the day. I'm already sweating, and all I did was pull stuff out. I haven't done any work yet. All right, first order of business. Do not make fun of my melting <laughs> sunblock. I'm trying to take care of my skin here. Second thing, we got to do something about this top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my orbital sander with 180 grit sandpaper sand down the top and also I'm going to be sanding the fronts of all of the drawers to take the finish off just the finish because I need to I'm going to take the finish off restain it and refinish it all right here we go <laughs> Now that I have everything sanded down, I'm just going to wipe it with a slightly damp towel to get all the sanding dust off. I'm not getting it wet, just slightly dampened. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and start masking and taping the areas that I don't want overspray in. Got the dresser completely taped up. Now I'm going to fill in this hole that was filled in with bubble gum <laughs> with some wood filler. What you want to do is overfill the hole because I'm going to be sanding this down. And I'm going to let this dry for a couple hours and come back and sand it. I have spent the last few hours, a couple hours, sanding. If a furniture refinisher doesn't say the most tedious part about refinishing furniture is, oh my God, my lips are all bleh, 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 because I've been in a mask for a couple hours, a tight mask. If a furniture refinisher does not say the most tedious part of refurnishing furniture is sanding, walk away. Just walk away. That's all I'm going to say. Walk away. <laughs> all right. I've got everything sanded down this top, y'all. Ugh. This top is just so damaged. I wanted to keep it as close to the original finish as I can, but I can't. I'm gonna have to paint the top too. My original plan was to just leave the top bare wood and um, add some stain on it and 
sand it, sand it down, add some stain, and just let it be plain, and then the sides painted. But because of so much damage, that water spot that was right here, whatever that was, I mean, oh my goodness, it's terrible. And then the, the bubble gum filler that they had here, I'm going to call this the bubble gum dresser. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to have to paint this, so I'm going to go ahead and paint paint the whole top. I'm waiting for this to finish drying here, but I am going to stain the drawers. I already have the stain. Let me show you guys what color it's going to be. The color of the stain is Gunstock 231, and this is just a um, Minwax finish, and I'm just going to stain all of these, put, put a light coat on, let it dry. I might have to put two coats on. Don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I've already wiped these down of all of the um, sand dust and everything. They're sanded down. I'm hoping I've got all the finish off. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we'll see when I start putting this on. <laughs> all right, let me continue. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about the color of the stain. <laughs> we will see how this looks. I'm going to put it on and I'm immediately wipe it off. I'm not going to let it sit up there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's really red. Oh boy. Boy is it red. Oh my. last time I used wood conditioner everything was splotchy either that or I didn't get all the finish off that could be a result of that also uh, but I do like the the color that this part is and these are like edge glued pieces Ugh. okay let's see hmm I need to think about what to do about this. Because the other one came out so splotchy, I decided to try and go with some pre-stain conditioner. So I've got these. And apparently I didn't do that good of enough job to get off all of the finish. As I'm standing here, I can see finish right on that corner there. A little bit there. And apparently these places where the stain didn't take very well it's also where I didn't get the finish off good enough even though I did go through all the grits uh, didn't do it good enough so I need to think about what to do next oh man this is just uh, yeah you can really see it really see it right there but hey I'm already in <laughs> in too deep I gotta keep going all right y'all I have this carbide scraper here this thing this is what I should have started off with I should have used this first and I went back and scraped a lot of the finish off of these there's still a little bit more on there so I went ahead scraped it restained it i'm going to let this stuff dry overnight and then i'm going to come back tomorrow scrape it even better once i see like once the stain is dry i can scrape down all of the shiny parts and then put more more of the stain on there and do it the correct way all right i did a little bit of hand scraping but to make sure this is all off i'm going to use some of this uh stripper I've never used this before, so wish me luck. Boy, this really stinks. Make sure you're using this outside. Oof. That is strong. Look at all that. That's all finish that I didn't get off. 
from sanding. I'm done scraping the finish. Now I'm going to go over it with some steel wool and mineral spirits to get up the rest of the residue. And then I'm going to re-sand these and then re-stain them. I've got the drawers restained and y'all you know, they look so much better I know it looks lighter right there but it's not it's uh, the lighting it's all even looking now I mean oh my goodness so y'all learn from my mistake prep is so important getting that finish off is very important. I spent two hours today re-sanding all of these drawers, going over it, went up all through the grits and just taking my time. So, lesson learned. You can't rush these things. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the dresser now. Time to mix up my paint. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up in the mixer itself or in the sprayer itself. The name of this paint color is called Emerald Isle, and I kind of like it. This is a really nice color. I'm hoping that it comes out just as good as it looks on this piece of paper. <laughs> All right, I got a little bit of water to help with the spraying, and then I'm going to mix the paint in there, and then we're going to get to doing this. I already put the second coat of paint on. I'm just waiting for that to dry. And while that's drying, I'm gonna work on the new pulls for the drawers. These are the pulls that I got. I think these will look really nice with this color here. And I've got one of these little aligner thingies. I'm going to align that, mark my holes, drill them, and put in the hardware. What I'm doing is I'm aligning this with the holes that's already on there that's a great thing about this thing and then I'm taking a nail and I'm just uh, taking a hammer and do a little hit like that so I know where to drill my holes and this came with the drill bit line it up and drill away While I'm waiting for the paint to completely dry on the dresser, I went ahead and got some more of these little buttons. I just went to Lowe's and found the size that I needed, and I just painted these black. They were like this oak color, so I just used some spray paint and painted them black. And it just be a little accent piece. All the paint has dried. All the stain has dried. Now... It's time to put on the top coat. I'm going to be using polycrylic and get this thing protected.
Y'all, this one came out really good. I'm so proud of this. I really like it. But it's for sale. <laughs> I will be selling this. All right, y'all, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.